Go on, have a look. Now here's a weapon. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor regarding the Queen Regent and an important... If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. I'm just grateful I get to see the Last night's nice patron was a delight. The sky always puts me in a contract. Whatever hardships we face, Wonderful. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. Yet there is something different about you. Hmm, how curious. I lived a simpler life once. But one man changed all that. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet, after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet, after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no simple ma- Here I am. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Can't do much on an empty stomach. Tis no simple ma here I Tis no sim here I am Such quietude is a blessing. It's 
suppose I ought to be using this kind of Such quiet. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. What about you? See? Good evening, sir. Getting proper rest is an important duty. Peruse at your leisure. There's a ladder here. Ah. Oh. Excellent find. so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. My sincerest apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life. Oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or oh, so I'd sworn, but I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it, and recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do, save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes, three days, I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. What is life without a little spice? What was the same? Good to see you, Master. What am I supposed to do? Don't 
You are not permitted to be here. Move along. wish to expose Allard's misdeeds. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah, but of course. Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. You are not permitted to be here. Move along. You'd best watch yourself. Do you know who I am? What is your purpose here? Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Do we know of anyone privy to the goings-on in the palace? What are we to do? Allard. Long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. I suspect this will suffice as proof.
I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell us, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. my fullest confidence. To think that the proprietress of the Myrmacolian was plotting such a thing, under normal circumstances, I would not overlook such a clear admission of murderous intent. But this is Allard we speak of. Of all the Queen Regent's sycophants, he possesses the greatest authority. His fall from grace would do much to further our cause. But where to find the evidence we seek? Perhaps the merchants he deals with possess aught that could serve us. Merchants with connections to Allard will reside in the Merchant Quarter. Though, they're not likely to divulge their secrets readily. Some piece of physical evidence would be far less easily refuted than mere testimony, I should think. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? You have my gratitude. Your ma Tis most valuable. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve... to do me a favor a pity but I shan't as they say no tidings are best something good will come up today I just I'll make know a living if I get myself injured This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. I only work when I fan. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? The hours seem to fly. Where to now? That's one piece of evidence in hand. We might search for more if you are so inclined, Master. It is as you say.
much so. How much of you, sir? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Let's see. Where to next? This I end up something on to Such quietude is a blessing. Can't wait for that. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close unless you intend to see this through till the end you're a curious one aren't you but what's just as curious is that i can't bring myself to refuse you <laughs> all right if you're offering your aid then i'll gladly accept it come with me Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice! Wilhelmina! But why? Why would you... Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face? But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. has come for all your sins to come to light. 
our Lord. Mr. Allard, has something happened? We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. You have done what you set out to do, I trust. Then come, Master. Let us quit this place. Of course. I cannot deny that your gaze holds a certain... allure. I think it would be best for us to make our escape separately. Should we both make it out of this unfettered, let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then, be well. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. Though we may not die in battle, it's a far cry from being invincible. might there be to find in town today? You don't know a town so you get its people. Don't need Wait to see what the day holds. Well, give the cart a look over before we leave. Right. 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 I don't know what to do. One can never be too. Need anything? Oh, I've got to spend some day for a special day. Lots of food. Back to it. What to make of this? Somehow my feet Look as long as you Shall we get some rest then? Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. I must say, this doesn't this sit well outrage. with me at all.
see look at my wares? It's not this sure town must have you need anything. What delights might there be to find in town? How cool! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. That's it. Not much going on. I'd quite like. Ask so that I might adopt the most effective style. If there's all I can do, by all means ask. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough, but I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. Welcome, sir. Ad the same. They are. <coughs> no place. But not without its charm. I don't much like to this. We seem to have a ride without issue, but are we safe here? There's a tavern that stocks new liquor, but they only cater to beast.
I'd like to walk in on his path, but no one's going to want me working for him. You... you think I could work there? But true, what? You went out and looked for a job for me, but why? Why would you put yourself to all that trouble? I... give it a try, I suppose. Not sure how it'll turn out, but it's a start at least. I'll do my best not to make a mess of it. Oh, and thank you, cuz. This outcome was unknown to me. I had not thought it possible. Truly? Look as long as you please. Do come again. Our packs are heavier. Our purse is far lighter. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. How might I be of assistance? Just tell me what you need, and I'll... See it done. Come again when you've more co- Welcome and well met. Always a pleasure. Welcome. I'm in no hurry to leave. Well, it's so dull when there's nothing to do. Looking for all in particular. Not a lot more to do, but a long day of work. Fine. Well, proud. I have a dozen matters to see today. That's a
We must rest. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. <laughs>